After reporter interrupts press conference, Trump unleashes her worst nightmare on live TV. On Wednesday, President Donald Trump held a joint press conference at the White House with Norwegian Prime Minister Erna Solberg. Both leaders discussed their ongoing commitments to stopping ISIS and protecting citizens from terrorism, an important message for Americans and people around the world to hear. However, when a reporter interrupted Trump's press conference with a bogus and accusatory line of questioning, BOTUS immediately unleashed her worst nightmare on live television. When Trump and Solberg began taking questions on Wednesday, reporters all but completely ignored the prime minister, choosing to probe President Trump regarding the Russia investigation instead. Specifically, Fox News Channel's John Roberts asked Trump if he would be willing to sit down for an interview with special counsel Robert Mueller or if he would refuse. I can only say this, Trump began. There was absolutely no collusion. Everybody knows it. I've been in office for 11 months. For 11 months they've had this phony cloud over this administration over our government and it has hurt our government," he responded. It's a Democrat hoax that was brought up as an excuse for losing an election that, frankly, the Democrats should have won because they have such a tremendous advantage in the Electoral College," Trump said of the Russia investigation, effectively putting the nail in its coffin. Unfortunately. John Roberts was not the only one to ignore more important matters in favor of bringing up the Russia investigation at Wednesday's press conference. Sarah Westwood of the Washington Examiner did the same. Sarah Westwood of the Washington Examiner asked the Prime Minister if the investigation makes America look very bad on a national stage. She quoted a recent Trump tweet, where the president said the world is laughing at the stupidity they are witnessing in regards to the Russia collusion investigation. The reporter asked the world leader if she was laughing at America. The Norwegian prime minister demurred, insisting that this is an issue for American politics. The prime minister did say that the investigation has caused her country, and all of Europe, to look into the tampering of elections and that no election interference was found in the recent election in her country. Source, The Daily Caller Following the prime minister's answer, President Trump added, I'll say this. There is collusion, but it's really with the Democrats and the Russians. Far more than it is with the Republicans and the Russians. So the witch hunt continues. President Donald Trump is absolutely right when he says that the Russian collusion narrative has been used by the Democrats to hurt his administration. What happened at his press conference on Wednesday was the perfect example. A foreign leader was in Washington and available to American reporters to discuss pressing matters that are greatly affecting both of our nations, but none of the pathetic excuses for journalists in the room seemed to care. Instead, they continued to probe Trump on a crime that never took place. As the president noted, he has now been in office for 11 months. If he had colluded with the Russians to win the 2016 election, 11 months would have been more than enough time to unearth some sort of evidence to prove it. Yet, here we are, approaching the one-year anniversary of the day President Donald Trump officially took office, and there is not one shred of evidence to support the liberal narrative that he stole the election from Hillary Clinton with the help of the Kremlin. Meanwhile, poor Prime Minister Ernest Olberg is being made to stand at the podium like a prop patiently waiting to take questions from reporters who refuse to do their jobs. So, does this reflect poorly on our government and our media, as President Trump suggested? You bet it does, but it does.